So it's Saturday, our last full day. I'm just gonna do this really quick because I'm actually almost late for the Pemberley digital signing. As you can see, I am wearing Jane Austen is my homegirl. So I kind of changed it up. I was gonna wear gem today because I'm giving out gem ribbons, but I've already given out a lot of my gem ribbons, so I figured I can wear Jane Austen and I and I'm gonna meet all the lit authors today as well. Um, I figured they would appreciate a little Jane Austen shout out. So, um, yeah, so those are the two things I'm doing today. Also, I'm trying to blink up what I'm doing. A lot of pet band, our last day of pet band. Hopefully we'll get some pictures and some video. Um, and yeah, and so Hollywood photo booth. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be lugging around a lot of stuff. And Anthony Rapp, I mean, I have Adventures in Babysitting for Anthony Rapp um, DVD to sign, so that should be fun and see his reaction to that. And all of the books, so. Ah, we're almost done, which is kind of sad, but also I'm very tired. So I hope this is going to be a great day. So in the band room for probably one of the last times, which is kind of sad. Um, and so far today, since I've been here, um, I started out with the Pemberley book signing and I got all of them to sign it and they loved my shirt, my Jane Austen is my homegirl shirt. And um, then after that, we ended up, or I ended up going to the Anthony Rapp signing and I went to the Hollywood photo booth and everything's going right. So my only last, um, wristband that I have is for um, the lit signing so I'm excited to meet all the authors and actually this morning I met Tahira Mafi and Ransom Riggs at a panel and they were so nice and I got a picture and um, the other people on that panel were Marie Lu and Jenny Han and um, some of the other people too so um, I better finish this before somebody comes in the band room and thinks that I'm completely weird but we are about to do a parade so we'll see if I can get somebody to videotape that um, of us going to the HPA party um, should be interesting walking and playing. Um, we had one time where we did the escalator and I thought that I was about to die, but 
I didn't, and I didn't trip, and I was good. And um, last night, I don't know if I said this, but last night we ended up playing at the Harry and the Potters show. Um, I missed half of Happy Birthday, um, but, you know, it all worked out. So I will talk to you this vlog soon. This is the storm that I just walked back to the hotel in because I knew that I would not be able to take my all of my books that I just got signed and my trombone this afternoon or this evening. So, ha, huh, dedicated. I tried to protect my books as much as I could, especially because now they're signed. And so, this is it. the moments of Kiki Khan. So, I've kind of recovered from the rainstorm, and now I'm gonna miss one of my panels, but I think it'll be fine as long as I get there in time for Pet Fan. So, um, oh how my priorities have changed, because when I first started I thought, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to all my panels, and I don't know if I'm gonna do the Pet Fan, like maybe just once a day. And now, I've really liked it so much, and I've had so much fun with it that I've done almost every session, and the one that I missed Everybody told me, oh my gosh, we missed you. We needed the low brass since I'm the only trombone player and Ella has not um, actually kept on playing. And so it's been really fun and I really feel like I'm making a difference and helping out. And I mean, I guess I'm not making a difference through being in the pep band, but it's a lot of fun and people seem to like it. So anyway, I wanted to show you really quickly because again, I've got to get to pep band, um, the, the books that I got signed at the lit signing this afternoon. So my first one, is Maureen Johnson. Um, it's also John Green and Lauren Miracle, but obviously they were not here. So she signed it and um, she signed it right there. And um, she put a little heart beside John Green and Lauren Miracle's names because she said, you know, maybe someday I will meet them and get them to sign it. Because I guess both of them were there last year at Geeky as well. So I also got Anna and the French Kiss, signed by Stephanie Perkins. I told her my story of last year about how I met her and how she was so nice to me. And she thought that was really sweet. And she was like, I'm so glad that you're back um, and everything. So she said, Ayana, never stop wishing on stars. I guess I should take those Ayana stickers off, but whatever. So I also have Legend by Marie Lou. And she said, to Ayana, walk in the light. 
I have a couple of hardbacks. My favorite, Tahara Mafi, and I met her earlier today, as I said, and she was very sweet again, and she said that she loved my t-shirt, and so did Read Some Rigs, and he was like, oh yeah, I saw that before, and I really liked it, I wanted to tell you that. Um, and so they were very nice. There was a woman in front of me who had literally like 30 books, actually two women, who had about 30 books and posters, and so we were all kind of grumbling in the back, which, you know, they said that you could bring however many you wanted to, but all of us were kind of like, okay, can we please get to them now? Um, but yeah, so this is, she said, read on, Tahara Mafi, or ta Tahara, Tahara Mafi. So, I also have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And this one just says, for Boriana. I have Burn for Burn by Jenny Han, and she was very quick to tell me that this is a trilogy. Um, she assumed that I hadn't read it yet, and I have not, so it just says for Ayana. I have Shadow and Bone. Um, so the funny thing about Shadow and Bone is that I bought it at Books A Million, and it just happened to be a copy that was a faulty copy. So it's actually like upside down. So you see this is the front, but this is also the end of the book. It has her little bio at the end. And on the back, it has the back stuff regular, but you can feel the bumps of the book that should be on the front. So I showed Lee and she thought it was hilarious. And she was like, I almost wanna pay you for this copy because it's so weird. Um, but she did not. And so she wrote, at first she just wrote to Ayana, Shadow and Bone. And then on the side she wrote, Steel is earned, and she wrote it upside down so that it would fit the book, <laughs> which was funny. And my final two are Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. As I said, I um, I got this signed by Ransom Riggs, but I actually got it signed for my brother. So, spoiler alert, if you're watching this, that this is going to be a gift for him. Um, and if I can find the page... So, to Malik, stay peculiar. I don't want to bend it too much since it's not mine. And then finally, I got An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. And she was cool because she actually also had us sign a copy of her book as well. So, everybody that went through the line got to um, sign her book. Um, and so, I guess she keeps that. And this one just says for Ayana. And she made some little face. So... So hopefully all of those were in focus and everything like that because I don't have time to edit this that much. But it was so much fun and I feel like I say that so much in this vlog. Um, but hopefully um, tonight's ball will be even more amazing. I had a really late night with the, um, the rock concert last night and with the pet band. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to make it through tonight and stay up till 1 a.m. and have an amazing Esther ball and Esther day. Um, I guess today is Esther day, I think. Um, so yeah, I will see you with pet band and the ball and maybe I might go to the teenage writer panel because I've heard that's really funny where um, the writers talk about their um, past work but like you know something that they wrote when they were like 15 years old um, and you get to hear that and hear how funny it is so I will probably try and do that and then come back and get ready for the ball and hopefully you'll see me at the ball. So I thought very highly of myself. <laughs> Your friend was like, I got you a hoodie. <laughs> I got you Victoria's Secret Tringle Breezes perfume, and you got me this. Wait, did she give it back? Is that what you have? Oh, she gave it back to me after it got published. Oh, like a little that's bit. sweet. Oh. Okay. She would have kept it for a money value. <laughs> okay, yeah. My best friend in the whole world is Kara Willis. I've known her forever. She's one of the most reliable, sensible people I know. Nothing at all like me, with all my wild ideas and my thoughts that seem to spill out of my mind. And I think, wait, 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 this was a present to her? <laughs> about a girl named Kara, her name was Sarah. Um, dedicated to her. Yet, oh, and I say them almost without thinking. Yet we are the same, so alike, but so different. <laughs> this is why I found it so hard to understand how Kara could fall in love with a guy like Greg Chambers. <laughs> his so-called sensitivity, terrific sense of humor, or even his good looks. You didn't? All I saw, all 
I saw was a bastard who treated my best friend like she was lower than dirt. <laughs> she says he is vulnerable and afraid to show his other, more gentle side. I knew she deserved better. Goblet of Fire because I was really unsatisfied with some stuff and uh, uh, so like like all the, the, the trials have changed um, uh, let's see Cedric has sisters for whatever reason um, uh, I think that should be it so the first trial has already happened I believe they're in the second trial has already happened they're entering the third trial at this point okay Harry waited for Cedric at the Quidditch pitch his insides were knotted up like when the giant squid had him in its grasp during the first trial. And just like then, when Cedric came to the rescue with his flippendo assault, Harry... That was the spell from the video game. Um, Harry took a new breath as Cedric ran across the field towards him now. That was all one sentence, by the way. Uh, Harry paid close attention to the way Cedric's hair bounced, like wind blowing against his hair, as if he was flying with other Gryffindors during a heated match against Slytherin. So I'm finally ready for the ball. So you can hopefully see my address. Um, and hopefully that wasn't inappropriate. Um, yeah, so we are going to the Esther Earl ball. Got my wristband right here. And um, it's kind of the last ball, last hurrah of GeekyCon. And tomorrow will be the closing ceremonies. And hopefully I will dance my butt off and have fun and sing Total Eclipse of the Heart at midnight. And it will be epic, epic. So I look forward to it.